yeah, and uh, he's, uh, he's the most important person on the bus because he has to put an automatic pilot on, and it's all good. Okay, I'm just going to sit down here. Giranga, Giranga is a really small community as you can see. There's just a market where we have that right in Yorker outside. There's a post office and uh, the pharmacy as well. Uh, and then we have uh, uh, these two uh, red houses. This is the oldest farm of uh, Giranga. This El Shiku. And that's one of the 12 campaigns we have here in Garanga, the Garanga campaign. For the people that are sitting on the left side, I'm going to repeat uh, myself coming back down, I'm going to show you. But uh, I can imagine how quiet it, it gets uh, in the winter time. <laughs> okay, so just in front of us we have the uh, Union Hotel. Um, this is a four-star hotel. And it's uh, uh, being run uh, by the family hotel. I've got a, uh, a colleague that he also calls it the Onion Hotel because see how it comes down from those woods there and it separates uh, the woods in two. It's uh, very picturesque. By the time we go back to Garanga, um, so we're gonna go straight up to the mountain for the for the people that arrived after. The third way to get to Garanga, you've seen that uh, zigzagging road on the right side of Obviously, uh, we need a spike. Okay, so now we're going to approach the waterfall we saw before here on the left side. If you take a look. And then coming back down, we're going to take a few photos of it as well. We're going to slow down with the bus so you can have the chance to take a few photos. We, we have morning, so still uh, quite um, uh, it owns it uh, so like uh, all of the farms in Norway it takes the name of the owner uh, of the family name of the owner so Hule Bugda here on the right side and we have Hotel Utsik then Gwai yeah this beautiful view of your ship and the fjord and we're starting to gain some height as you can see actually eight long summers because obviously uh, the workers could only work and speed it up to, to work but you can imagine the hard task for these workers at the time uh, because as you can see this road is actually built uh, in the mountain through the mountain 270 degrees of bend yeah. so to get across this big area Rabbits, foxes, squirrels, usually the reds, known to have killed uh, um, uh, goats, sheep. You can see this group of houses over there. This is the Kvanda Sedra. This is a summer farm. It's been abandoned in the 60s, but um, the, the girls from Garanga used to come up here and uh, with the goats to them graze in these uh, uh, fields here. We can see around the houses. And uh, these houses are very old actually. The, Trees in the world, for due to its uh, its shape, this S shaped, uh, it was um, uh, 120 kilometers from the coast. That's the main arm, and then we have the Sunnis Fjord, and uh, eventually then the Geranga Fjord that um, detached themselves from the Storfjord. So we can just imagine a nail. This is the Storfjord, and here the Geranga Road. Yeah, the the snow red as you can see we can 
say this this house on the left we can see these iron iron uh, we have a uh, really strong winds to come in uh, these valleys so they have to put these strong cables um, these metal cables to keep this, these uh, roofs attached to the house actually now here we have the beautiful view of new pasita this is the uh, main deep lake it's around uh, 90 meters of depth and all this ice and snow is going to melt down in another week or so it's all gonna be gone okay so we're gonna leave the main road now and the way to the peak so last five kilometers we're gonna go up the last 500 uh, meters so the last 1500 feet and we're gonna drive through the last 11 half in bed so I think we actually the first ones going up there, so we're gonna have our all the the parking uh, for ourselves unless uh, there are uh, already some other tourists going up with their own car. That's uh, uh, another lake after the Pasita. And then uh, uh, we have a, um, a series of canals and caves where water keeps on floating. So these, all these lakes, uh, we have a lot of uh, trout as well. That's you know, so just two months a year. takes part in uh, uh, Garanga on the 15th of uh, June and the athletes, these athletes, these professionals obviously, these are professional records, make it in these times, in these timings. So, um, especially uh, the bite of this, never missing the souvenir shop. So, this is all the viewpoint here, on the right side we have the toilets if you need them. Um, and, uh, here we are. So at uh, 10 o'clock, let's make it 10 o'clock, we're going to make uh, uh, see each other. On
there's all um, one one place free in paradise. There's one left, and uh, God has to choose between uh, a priest and a bus driver. <laughs> okay, so the the priest goes up to God and he says, uh, "Hey, I think I have the right of way to get this uh, this place in paradise, this free place, because I've been uh, teaching mass all my life and I've been spreading your word all across the world. So I think I've got the right to get this place." And um, God looks at him, he scratches his head and he says, oh, I think uh, I'm going to choose the bus driver because uh, I had much more people uh, believing in me coming back down from the mountain than sleep back. <laughs> so uh, the bus driver gets the place. Okay. So Rolf for sure is going to have a, a, a place up there, a safe place, but we wish him another 50 years of... Uh, driving up and down the Zeba, yeah. And the record was registered in uh, 1979. 15 meters of snow came down that year. In fact, the road didn't even uh, open. Couldn't manage to open it and clean it all. So you can imagine 15 meters of snow is uh, basically like a three, three star building. Um, all the uh, western coast of Norway. So thanks to these warm gulf currents, we have quite a mild uh, climate. In fact, the hottest days are around 25, 26 degrees. It's very different in the eastern part of Norway because uh, we have this uh, chain of mountains. Um, they, they call them the Norwegian Alps as well. They divide the country in two, salts and lakes. Here in the western part we have these high peaks, uh, these fantastic waterfalls and the fjords. So, First thing, the toilets are down there on the left. If you can go. We have 19 regions in Norway. This is the Morio Gromstel region. Uh, 5 million people uh, living in Norway. 500,000 live in Oslo, the capital. Around 270,000 uh, live in Bergen, the second. Uh, Christiansund, Aldesund, Stavanger, Oslo, all these uh, cities are all based on uh, also west to east, the, the longest, the widest. The widest, sorry, uh, f uh, part is uh, uh, around 490 kilometers. It is uh, around 20,000 kilometers long. We have this the map. If you look at the map, there's especially up in the north, there's many, many the small little islands, bigger and smaller ones with the animals. So the people, I'm talking yeah, about the people from the area.
снег. For a long, uh, long winter. In, in, in August, the first, especially the two first two weeks of August, usually. It rains a lot, and uh, it's the rainiest month in in, in in the year of the year. So this this water, very very cute, small. Uh, you can go inside and have a look. There's many bars in this, in the and the church here is a Lutheran Protestant, state owned, and uh, it's basically the clergy that pays.